The soon to be married Sammy Gold. Mazel, Sammy. Sammy, come over here for a second. Was that a Rolex? Working for the medical business now. For a doctor? Yeah, sort of. If you're looking for some extra work, it's a good job. Okay. <laughs> he loved you. <laughs> he loved you. Sammy boy, see this town? I run this town. We need to talk, Sam. This is my operation. Jackie knows you're skimming, Yosef. I can't keep hiding these side deals in the book anymore. You're ruining our family! I don't need this from you! You're gonna get in trouble. What are we gonna do? Jesse Eisenberg, Justin Bartha, welcome. Welcome to this show. Welcome Thank to you. Sundance, where you have a movie. Yeah. And it's called Holy Rollers. And how did you get involved in it? What is it? It's, uh, despite it's uh, the common reaction, which um, you would tell people, it's a uh, movie about Hasidic Jewish ecstasy dealers called Holy Rollers, and people laugh. I think but it's, it's a actually, comedy, yeah. Yeah, no. uh, but it's a dramatic movie. It's a dra dramatically competitive movie about, <laughs> um, and uh, which is inspired by true events, is the uh, the legal phrasing. Uh, following these Hasidic Jewish ecstasy mules in the late '90s in Borough Park, Brooklyn, smuggling ecstasy in from from Amsterdam. One of the producers had seen a, a story on, uh, I think, a kind of a, a magazine show years ago on television, and <clears throat> we kind of, that kind of started the ball ro rolling and and uh, and then over the years the, the script developed uh, into uh, kind of a a, a a very specific character piece about a young man that Jesse plays that gets um, brought into uh, this world of drug dealing by Justin's character who is a kind of the bad seed in the community who's already gone astray and he has like a Rolex and a nice car and everything so I see that I'm struggling with mm -hmm. my own money problems and I, uh, I see that and he kind of takes me in very seductive and but in a very yeah. dark way. You're the devil. Yeah. I am the, I am the, the big you're bad just, wolf. You're just yeah. bringing, him, wolf, yeah. bringing him down into this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's a nice guy, right? You're kidding me, he's the best. We can trust him. Of course, he's Jewish. All right. With you. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. He looks nervous. Maybe he doesn't like doctors. Jackie? Is Jackie in his office? Oh my god. Oh my god. I love your hats. Thank you. They're <laughs> so amazing. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you're not supposed to touch it. Oh. Jackie. Hi. All right, let's just talk about actors collaborating. Since you're the devil, you're the corrupted one in Holy Rollers. How do two actors that come together to do this, how do you prepare to do it? Independent cinema, we know, is based on, okay, we have 11 days, $30,000, or whatever we can do to do it. How did the two of you prepare to play this? We had been friends for several years, and the characters in the movie are not dissimilar and became increasingly similar to our relationship. How so? Like, Interesting, given that he's the corrupter. Well, yeah, <laughs> right. That very similar. Maybe to not to that extreme. Well, we made him a little nicer for the movie. Yes, people yes. Want right. To, exactly. <laughs> you know, people have to watch it. So. Yeah, I'm unbearable. He's unbearable uh, in person. <laughs> you could ask many people. Yeah. But uh, I mean, the, that was you know what, a, a benefit of having a, a lot of time and not even knowing if the movie we could ever actually get it made mm -hmm. was we would just spend our free time and a lot of time whether it be going to you know, Brooklyn and doing research or just going over the script and trying to figure out exactly who these people are and, and uh, get it to a Well, that's what place. I mean, too, to just learn about, you could read yeah, uh, about the Hasidim, you could do that, but did you? Well, we both live in New York and, and very close to you know, a lot of Hasidic areas. And, and uh, so we, we, it's so very So you accosted easy. them on the street and said, sit with me, tell yeah, me your yeah. secrets. A lot of times. Yeah. 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 Will you study at the Coel? 
Yes, well, I, I work in Manhattan now. Um, I'm not sure about becoming a rabbi yet. You like playing basketball more? You've seen me. No, no. 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 My tata will talk to the rabbi. They will decide for me. What job do you do? I take care of my younger brothers and sisters. Oh, that's nice. How many children? Five. No, I want eight. Eight? Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. Okay, here comes the last question, and it makes everyone crazy, but I'm, I'm doing it. Um, everyone's done it so far, so I don't feel the pressure. Oh, um, wow. But because I work at Rolling Stone and there's music, I've asked everybody uh, to do a few bars of something musically that means something to them. This is a humiliating now you sing something Don't for us. Don't you want me, baby? Because I was just singing that to uh, Jonah Hill and John C. Riley. So that sticks in my head. Wow.